Good morning, everyone. So today is Friday, August 6th, and I just received a twin size bed that I bought for my little sunroom area, which is right here. Kind of looks a little tiny bit messy, but over here I have the pillow and stuff uh, for the bed. And I have to take out the desk from in there, the dog cage and all of that. I gotta fold this up and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the desk. But anyways, so I'm about to put the bed together. I hope it's not difficult. I'm gonna actually have to take out everything from the sunroom and put it together in there. So um, right now I'm watching um, Jay Shetty and his wife um, speaking to Willow Smith and Janavi. And so yeah, I'm watching that right now. And who just texted me? Alina. <laughs> Alina's texting me. My uh but yeah and today is the last full day of the kids being in texas um for now and i'm gonna go to nashville tomorrow i'm probably gonna wake up like around maybe seven no 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 I'm gonna wake up probably like around 6 30 and leave by 7. I don't know it all depends on how I feel when I wake up like if I wake up earlier then that's fine too like I'll just dip but yeah it's a 10 hour drive so I'm gonna just take all that time to just think and relax you know and listen to music and yeah anyways let me go ahead and put this bed together. You attract such wonderful souls all around you and you're always I think it's probably going to happen throughout your lives that you're making these beautiful connections, so... Learn from each other in this process. And it can be musical or non-musical, it can be any way you can go. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say, uh, I, I feel like we're so... I don't even know what was the last thing that I recorded because I had to do some more stuff today, run more errands, and also my battery died. So I was charging it basically all day. But I want to show you guys how the bedroom, like the little area that's a sunroom, I made it into like a bedroom situation. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Let me turn the light on because it is already nighttime. So I bought a shower rod and i put it here i have to fix it though because i literally like butchered it like it's not great but so when you slide it um i made the bed this is how it looks right here uh i still have the paper i gotta throw that out i'm going to put the covers on it uh my sister is actually going to get a comforter for my dad she is going to be coming tomorrow to put that since i'm gonna be on my way to tennessee and she's gonna put the comforter on so it could be all ready because my dad is actually gonna be coming on sunday so he'll be here but yeah that's how it looks like this is literally a good size room it's crazy like i didn't think like i was wondering how it would look with a twin size bed in here but look at how great that is this is literally the size of a bedroom in new york <laughs> so yeah anyways i got that going on and i am so sleepy which is good because i have to go to sleep early today i still have like a bunch of porqueria aka like just junk everywhere because i had to obviously take out the the desk that was in here um and it's behind me over here i have like a whole situation there because i was putting up these new curtains which i showed you guys in my previous vlog i got them in target and i just wanted them to match the artwork next to it because the one that i had is actually on the floor right here and the pattern is just like it doesn't go let me show you like it just didn't go okay now that i'm looking at it it kind of does go but i didn't like the way that it looked so i got some beige ones i gotta open that up and fix this whole situation but yeah i have my desk over here and i just have like stuff on the floor so before i go to sleep i gotta take all of this out because like i said i want the house to look like tip top shape when my kiddos come back um to the house and my dad too and i just want everything to be organized that way i don't gotta worry about like any porqueria and junk when the kids are here and everything's just good you know anyways um right now i just finished working 
I'm actually going to post this video. This is actually the video where I'm showing you guys that I got the curtains. Um, so I'm going to download it onto my computer, then upload it onto YouTube. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. So while this is downloading, I'm going to start cleaning and I am going to try to look for a podcast to listen to while I'm doing that. So, But yeah, this looks so cute. I love this little view. Look at that. So cute. And you know, I have family in New York. Sometimes they want to come out here. My dad is usually here for a few months throughout the year. And that's just perfect. You know, he has his own little space. And the kids finally have their own bedroom. And like in the, the last place, they didn't have... Well, they had their own bedroom. But then the pandemic hit. And then my dad moved in. And obviously... I am not the type to, I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I am not the type to tell my family to, you know, go somewhere else or tell them to leave the house or nothing like that or tell them to get a hotel. I'm sorry, but that's not my family. So, yeah, my my dad stood with me uh, all of the pandemic and then now, ah, water spilling. And then now he comes you know, and he stays for a few months throughout the year, which I really appreciate because for those of you who don't know, my dad has had a stroke um, and he's had a heart attack. So I just really, really want to cherish the moments being with him, obviously, and my kids being around their grandpa, you know. So look at that. This is looking cute. I like the way that this is looking. I'm sorry. I'm like really excited because... In my last home, I it just never really felt like home. You know, I feel like it's because like, one, I was living there throughout the pandemic. And then two, when I was living there, I was going through so much. There was so much negativity and drama in my life. And it just, I feel like that house just held that. And also I was just, I was starting to lose myself again because I was just so focused on the negative, you know? But now I'm feeling good or whatever. Let me stop labbing and put all of this stuff away and take my ass to bed because I gotta wake up early. And I already got, oh, Shari, baby. I already got my cooler over here. I have some ginger ale, some water, some soda, um, some nitro cold brews and Starbucks stuff. Oh, look, and I hung it up, you guys. Yeah, this is the mirror that I bought from Marshalls, and it was $30. I feel like this area needs something here, but I don't want to, like, clutter this hallway, you know? Maybe I'll get, like, little another art piece to, like, cover this shit right here. I hate looking at this thing. Um, but, yeah. But, anyways, let me stop blabbing. You guys will see me in the morning the next day good morning everyone thank y'all for clicking on this video today is august 7th and it is 6 16 a.m i'm about to head out to nashville to pick up my kiddos as you guys know or maybe if you didn't know they went to texas for two weeks with their dad and so we're meeting up in nashville like we did when um i dropped them off and i can't believe two weeks flew by unfortunately because of the military um my kids' dad can't stay with them for longer you know obviously it would have been nice if um they stayed with him you know for the summer and stuff like that but anyways i'm really excited to get my babies back though obviously it's been relaxing and this is something that I definitely definitely didn't know that I needed but I'm really hyped to see them and I have everything over here prepared for me I, I got some croissants some snacks and stuff right here and the cooler filled with stuff for myself and filled with stuff for the kids for tomorrow so and then they like have snacks back there and down here I'm already prepared for tomorrow so anyways uh let me stop blabbing and head out and i need to get a caramel macchiato before i head out this is going to be a long ass drive it says um it is nine hours and 42 minutes it's 6 a.m right now and it says i'm going to get there at three and it's 678 miles just fyi all right let me stop blabbing and let's 200 to merge onto i-295 toward washington In 11 miles, take exit 53A on the right onto I-64 West towards State Route 288. What was I afraid of? 
I just bent the block while these bitches wanna be up. This right here really sucks. I don't even know if the camera is gonna do it justice, but it is freaking pouring and it is very <laughs> nerve wracking, but I am obviously not gonna rush it. I am just gonna drive super freaking slow. And the sucky thing is that like these interstates obviously have a lot of uh, trucks. So like when they pass by me, I can't even fucking see the line. But I'm gonna put you guys down now so I can focus. Um, and like I said, I'm just gonna drive really slow. Very vivid memory. All right, you guys, it's been probably like 20 minutes and it's not pouring anymore, which is awesome. Cause that was very nerve wracking. Um, it's just drizzling. Um, and I am currently listening to Pretty Basic, the podcast. Going back to driving, I have seven hours and 50 minutes left. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Better When I look at what I've done Now that we're apart When I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better off and better Remy Cruz and Alicia Marie for their podcast because I am literally listening to their whole podcast. I used to listen to it before, but for me, I prefer like watching a podcast like on YouTube. And they actually, I'm pretty sure they they're coming out with like a YouTube channel where you can see the visuals. Anyways, um, I am currently in Wyattville, Wytheville, I think that's what it's called, Virginia, and this is my view. This is my view right here. I just went to Starbucks and I guess this town is like really little and they don't have like they like run out of stuff because I came to this Starbucks before and it was the same thing. But anyways, I'm about to put gas. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. This is my little area right here. 
And right. can I just say, I already put gas, by the way. Can I just say that taking out the like wheel feature, because for those of you who don't know, I took this drive two weeks ago when I dropped off the kids in Nashville. And I have this wheel feature in my car. I have the Kia Rio 2021. And what it does is that whenever you get to a curve, your wheels kind of help you turn. And that shit was so scary driving down to Nashville because there's a lot of mountainous areas. So, you know, you're going down like the, the speed limit is 70. Sometimes on these curves is still 70. Um, obviously, I go a little slower, but I could still feel my car like turning with me. And it was like you could feel it in the tires and you could feel it on the wheel. So I took that feature off. And when I tell y'all, it makes a huge ass difference. So I'm glad that I figured that out. Anyways, I have five hours left. Um, let's go. <laughs> I think this is my top. This is the most. <laughs> this is. You're a rebel. Getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable. So original. You will never back in down. And hopefully it stops pouring soon because, yeah, I am currently driving at 50 miles per hour, 55 in a 70, and I'm going to stay like this because, heck to the no, <laughs> it's definitely not doing it any justice on camera. All right, you guys, so it only rained maybe for like 10 minutes, and now it's raining, but there's sunlight outside. Thank you, God, for protecting me and for protecting my babies, their dad, um, his girlfriend, the baby, and all of that, and everybody on the road with us. Amen. Thank you. Love you, God. This moment, police arrest a different dude thinking that he the one who's been causing all this chaos or gets out it's all over the news and stuff and this was devastating to alex oh yeah he was devastated when he finds out that they got the wrong guy and this guy's getting all his credit he's down back and down back and down that's what i like about you so dangerous i get this rush when i'm Let me get up. I was gonna get up at, at four, but then I I got up a little early. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go now and then. Is this a parking? Yeah, it's a parking. Okay. Oh, is that packed? Yeah, this place was packed last time too. So you guys, I'm already here. I'm debating whether or not I should get food. Um. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go upstairs and go later. I have some snacks here, so I'm just going to bring it upstairs. Um, but I literally, I just want to lay down because my legs, they're like this right now. Like they're shaking a little bit. But anyways, uh, let me just go upstairs. I have a bag. I'll bring some stuff. Yeah, let me go upstairs. Um, so I'm actually at the same place that I came to last time. The Radisson. And it's a pretty... They got this little dining area over here. I just got my card, my key.
Okay. Let's go in. Okay. Ooh, stuffing members will be here now. I got a king size this time because last time I had two queen size beds and the kids slept with me. So this is the room. I love this. Like I want something like this, but with New York on it. Anyways, this is the room, TV, desk, little chair. Uh, and let me put this here actually. And the view <laughs> is this. But it's a beautiful day outside. Beautiful, even though it was like raining a bunch of times, but okay. Like you see, beautiful photographs. Let's watch something. Oh man, I forgot to bring my Lysol wipes. Ah. Next best thing, I'm just gonna, oh, would I mess it up if I did that? Let's go to the bathroom. Hold on, what is this? Oh no, I don't like that at all. Can we close that? Okay, I wish I had a bathroom like this, but I'm still grateful for my house. Look, another photograph. Okay, let's put some hand sanitizer on this. I just noticed they actually have a wipe, so let's wipe down the control. This is my OOTD. I showed you guys these joggers that I got at Marshalls and got some sneakers. These are actually really good to drive in. Like, I feel really good. And then I've worn this shirt. I took a picture with it. You guys, my babies are here. I got to take maybe like a 30 minute nap and I'm going downstairs now. Okay, I'm excited. You guys might not like, I'm gonna record the kids. I'm just gonna record the kids. Huh? Stay, stay. Hi. 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 Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, hi. 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 Woo. Mommy. Hi. Hi. I love you guys. I love you too. I love you. Look at, look at my head. I'm bald. <laughs> so you guys, we are in the hotel room. We oh my gosh. My oh my my earrings. It's okay, Mama. Um yeah, we've been here already for a few hours. Honestly, we ate. And my baby's here. We gotta go. I'm gonna go uh, give her a little shower. And then we're just gonna continue to lay down. My Pookie's over there on his iPad. Daddy is coming in a little bit, right, Kalis? He has to drop something off. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I haven't posted in about um, like six days, I think. Um, so this was before my dog, he passed away. Um, and I really, really appreciate all of the comments that you guys have been sending my way and um all of the messages and all of that like i really really appreciate it um but yeah thank you guys for understanding and thank you guys for clicking on this video stay safe try your best to live your life and make yourself happy and wear your mask uh clean your hands and don't drink and drive don't get into a car with somebody drinking um, just be happy and you guys will see me later. Peace out.